<laughs> Look at this. We have found the great vandal, everybody. There is the pump house just behind where the solar pump has been turned off so that the water is no longer leaking onto the road or into the drainage line. But what we do have is one of the, if not the culprit, he has broken this pipe and is now sucking water out of it. And while this is not a great wilderness scene, it is fascinating because it shows just a small piece of what elephants are able to do, of how intelligent they are. They would have felt the water moving in that pipe under the ground with their feet, or with his feet. And he then... <laughs> He then would have dug it up, picked it out with his tusks, and has probably been sucking on it. So, <laughs> I'm not sure what that, what he's doing with his back feet there. But he will then have dug it out, snapped it, and drunk from it, probably for much of the evening. And there's still water in the pipe, although the pump is off. If he sucks hard enough, he'll he'll get it all out of uh, the tank at uh, Jamie and Seb's place. Look at this. I, I look, I'm, let's just excuse this as a wilderness scene and let's rather look at it far more as a scene of elephant intelligence and possibly their desire to play. The dexterity in their trunks. It's just astounding. There's a young bull, as often is the case when there has been vandalism, young bulls. I think he's decided that this is too long now and he needs to snap it. And R. Laura Moore, you say this is why elephants don't make good house pets. Well, yes, certainly one of the reasons. You wouldn't want them walking down your passage and digging through the concrete and, um, oh, he's going to do a lot of snapping here. And, uh, you know, pulling up the plumbing it would be disastrous, wouldn't it? Give new meaning to the cliché, there's an elephant in the room. <laughs> Aren't you laughing, Fergus? I was laughing. You were. I just had the in. ambience on and I have a ridiculous laugh. I see. So he's also engaging in some play behaviour here. There's a sort of investigative part of this. He's not really that thirsty, I don't think. He's trying to figure out how it is that this pipe sometimes has water and sometimes it doesn't. And the reason, of course, that there is water in it is that it flows uphill. That's why we have to have a pump here. And so the water that has been pumped up is now flowing back down the hill. And that's why he's still able to get water out of it. <laughs> now, this is already starting to happen. We know we're close to a drought situation. We know we're nowhere near a situation where there isn't enough for the animals to drink. Elephants just don't like rotten water. Did you see that? Oh, you missed it, everyone. It's the first time I've ever seen it here, and it happened very, very fast. A gre an emerald-spotted wood dove landed on his ear, sat there for two seconds and flew off again. And before he knew what had happened, it had gone, and then he shook his head. I've never seen that happen before. All over India, the elephants are covered in various birds. The minor birds sit on them, the egrets sit on them and get free rides all over the place. But here, it doesn't happen. Elephants do not tolerate birds. And there was a dove that came and sat on an elephant. That was the first time I've ever seen that. Just the intelligence is impressive here. He's puzzle solving. Where does this water come from? Now, if he pulls that one hard enough, of course, he's going to do some serious damage to the pump. But I don't think he will. He's just bored, you know. I think these guys get so bored. 